What's going on guys? Apathetic here with all your tips, recommendations, and everything in between to make sure you are set up for success in the Crucible. And today, we are going to be covering the new Warlock Exotic Prometheum Spur that has come to us in the Season of Dawn. And we're going to cover the potential use cases for this exotic in PvE and PvP. Let's get into it. Jumping into this exotic guys, we are looking at exotic boots for the Warlock called Prometheum Spur with the exotic perk Embers of Light. While Daybreak is active, defeating combatants or guardians creates a healing and empowering rift at their location. And guys, this is definitely an interesting exotic. I'm going to discuss the use cases for this exotic in both PvP and PvE, PvE in a bit. But what does this exotic do? In order to proc this exotic perk, it requires you to be in Daybreak, the solar super for Warlock. And as you kill guardians in PvP or combatants in PvE, they they will leave behind not only a healing rift, but an empowering rift stacked right on top of it, giving you that two for one benefit. Now, all that being said, this exotic is definitely one you would have to build around if you want to take full advantage of this exotic perk. The Embers of Light perk requires Daybreak in order to be effective, which means we want to have our build designed around getting our super back as quickly as possible. So if you're running this exotic, exotic you may find it beneficial to run some intellect mods to ensure you're getting your super as much as possible. Now, how does this translate to PvP, especially when you have exotics like Transversive Steps that compete for the exact same slot? Now, if I'm being honest, this exotic, at least for PvP, requires you to be very, and I mean very tactful with when you pop Daybreak, so you can try to maximize the amount of rifts you can create for your teammates. So the key is trying not to only pop your Daybreak when you're in a place to rack up the most kills, which I feel is, of course, always the goal, but also make sure you can create rifts in a spot that's advantageous for your teammates, so it can be a bit tough to find both those circumstances simultaneously. But one use case or mode I could see this being very beneficial in is control. In control, you have the points to give you information on where the enemy team is, and if you manage to kill multiple people on a point, now as your team moves in to capture the points, they can have multiple rifts with empowering and healing that will make securing those points even easier. I could especially see this being super useful for something like Iron Banner, where capturing the points and locking them down can give you a huge lead in a game. So having rifts on points that will allow you to make sure your team can dish out extra damage, but also make sure it's harder for them to kill is going to be huge and making sure you're able to get that triple lockdown and secure some extra points in Iron Banner. Moving on to PvE and the use cases for this are a lot greater. I would honestly say that this exotic is probably going to be a little bit stronger in PvE because of the amount of adds in Destiny. You could literally have a ton of rifts, uh, especially if you're using Bottom Tree Dawn Blade that would allow you to kill even more adds and create even more rifts because you're because of that extended super. Another place this could be beneficial is within a raid. If you can use the slay adds and create a bunch of healing pools during during a more mechanic focused part of the fight, or be timed leading up to a damage phase on a boss, but again, simultaneously heals you. This exotic allows for Daybreak to have more utilization in PvE as an overall team support subclass instead of Will of Radiance always having to be that go-to. It'll be super interesting to see if and how these higher level raid teams integrate this exotic and specifically daybreak into their raid groups because now you have a subclass that can dish out a ton of damage is great for clearing ads but also with this exotic now will have the benefit and the support aspect of allowing the rest of the team to do additional damage and simultaneously uh, increase their survivability now getting into my raw thoughts on this exotic and it's kind of interesting i think for pve there's definitely a good strong case you can make for how this exotic could be beneficial especially in raids or you know higher level activities in destiny for pvp is where my concern really lies i'm never a big fan of exotics that require you to kind of build around a super especially since supers are not nearly as powerful as they once were it's not really something i'm a big fan of especially when you can put those resources towards a build that positively impacts your neutral game which you're going to feel way more throughout the match and i think the other thing is that this exotic is competing with other exotics like ophidian aspects transversive steps um controverse hold even that provide a much better benefit to the individual player where this exotic is all about the benefit of your team so for me yes that's awesome but I often find my teammates are letting me down down a lot already anyways, and I don't think a rift is going to change that. 
you know what i'm saying so that's why i kind of say this exotic i think it's great for pve not really that great i don't think for pvp but let me know what you guys think does this exotic seem a little too gimmicky to you or are there certain circumstances you guys could see this exotic excel in with that thanks so much for watching guys make sure you like share and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one